Do you know why you cry? What make you follow awaken one? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm here because, um, like I said, I've always believed that I, that I had that awake potential in me, and um, I, I believe that you believe that I have it in me, and you are constantly telling us that we can awaken. So I believe that what you believe What make you that. believe what I tell you? Yeah, I, I don't know, it's a, it's a feeling. Like, I don't, I don't really think I have any evidence. I mean, you, you're very loving and the, you're very passionate the way you speak, but I have no physical evidence to know. I just feel that you believe that I can wake up. So you believe what I've always dreamt all, this, all these years. Now the problem, the question, I mean, the, 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 what I, I guess struggle with is I'm from in past teachings and past teachers and schools and stuff, they kind of um, drilled in me that when you ask for human help, instead of going within and asking like a higher self or the God within you and all that. If you ask for external human help, then you're giving your power away to that human. And mm -hmm. that's kind of where I was reluctant to ask you, even in my own meditations, to reach out and ask you was to me um, disempowering myself to believe that I can do it, but now I'm understanding that I'm here for your help. You're here for my help, and there's nothing wrong with asking me. It doesn't make me less than to ask for a, a human teacher to help me. Mm. So I kind of was struggling a little bit with that. But okay, you say you, it's, it's hard for you to ask a human teacher to help you. Uh, but I'm not a human teacher. I'm a wicked one. You know that? Yes. That's a different purpose, right? That's number one. It means you don't ask a human teacher. I'm, you, I don't, I'm not all believe you have potential to wake up. I can help you to wake up. Not only believe. I know you. Where is your Buddha potential? What block your Buddha potential? I will step by step to wake you up to guide you until your Buddha potential blossom, you experience for yourself. Therefore, you have to ask awakened one to guide you. You don't need to afraid because I'm no longer the human teacher. And then along the way, while I wake you up, you will experience for your own. You don't just believe. No, you will. I will walk you. I will guide you step by step to experience about the moment to wake up. The moment of liberate. And the moment you experience about how your compassion appear within yourself. Your true love appear. And all illusion fall apart. You experience for your own. Do you know why you cry? I never had no one tell me that. No one has ever told me that. You know why? You want, do you know why no one told you that? Do you know why? Why? Because if they, if they are human, how can they tell you that? Truly, if you met awakened one, awakened one, all awakened one in this world, if they are awakened, they will tell you that. Because they know you. 
Na huo gayo kutoka kama bora. You don't need to trust without experience for your own. You got it? Yes. Are you ready for asking for help? Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Congratulations. I would ask. Awake essence. Infinite wisdom, boundless compassion, endless awake tools, and the great vow are the five natures of awakened Zen master Tik Yu Tian. The awake tools could be interactions, skits, songs, direct questions, or other means. The five natures wake up the Buddha potential in those who have restless questions. <laughs>